data entry for SPSS and Excel and other statistical programs. Today we're going to be looking at data entry for the scales known as binary nominal scales. These are scales that measure a variable by saying either you have the variable, the characteristic, or you don't have the characteristic. It's one or the other. There is no area in between. Let's take a look at some examples of variables measured in binary nominal scaling. Gender, for example. Male or female. When we're doing an experiment and each subject is randomly assigned, to an experimental group receiving a special treatment or a control group receiving no treatment or a placebo, that again is binary nominal scaling. When we give any kind of test or outcome measure in which performance is measured pass or fail, once again we are talking about binary nominal scaling. And what we're going to do, instead of entering the name of the variable or the condition that the subject has, we are going to use numbers. The easiest way to do this is to enter a 1 for yes, the subject has the characteristic described by the variable, or 0 for no. It's better to do it this way than to say 1 for yes and 2 for no. The reason for this is it'll create correlation coefficients that are easier for us to understand in terms of their direction if we use 1 for yes and 0 for no. When we have variables like gender, we're going to have to arbitrarily decide which of the two conditions, male or female, we're going to assign for 1 and which for 0. We just have to keep in mind that the variable therefore really means is the subject male, yes or no. So let's suppose that we are looking at a spreadsheet here and we can see the top two rows indicating our first case and our second case. We also see two columns, each column representing a different variable. The first column represents the variable, do we have the subject assigned to the experimental group or the control group? Assignment to the experimental group will be 1, and assignment to the control group will be 0. And then we have a situation of the subject's gender, and we've decided to call male 1 and female 0. So let's now enter the data for our first subject, case number 1. This first subject was assigned to the control group, so we enter a 0 for this cell. Then we hit the right arrow key to enter the data, and we move over into our next cell. And we see that our first subject was a male. And therefore, let's type in the 1 to indicate that our first case was a male. We hit the enter key or an arrow button to make sure the data are entered. Let's now move over into the second row for our second subject, case two. Here, this particular person was assigned to the experimental group. So we're going to have to enter the number one to indicate experimental group. Then we can use the right arrow key to finally enter the data and move over into our next cell to indicate the subject's gender. Now this subject was not male, but was female. And so therefore, let's enter a zero. In this way, by entering ones and zeros, we'll be able to calculate our correlation coefficients and our percentages more easily. If you're one of my students, you have two authorized email addresses for you to contact me. If you're not one of my students, you can contact me at brink at If you have any comments, 
about these headless professor videos.